Uh, first up, we have uh, Robert Joseph, uh, who descends from the people of Tainui to Wariatua Kaungunu Rangitane Ngaitau, and he is an associate professor of law at the University of Waikato. In phase one of the challenge, he read research examining 21st century Māori governance jurisdiction models, frameworks and best practices to support EBM for our marine resources that is consistent with Māori tikanga and mātauranga. I te tuakana e te rangatira, kei a koe te atamira, nau mai aere mai. A tēnā koutou katoa i ngā rangatira o ngā hau e whā, a he mei ki te atua, a te ronga rawa, he mei ki te kini Māori a tūheitea e pototau te whirawhira, te tūwhitu e noho mai rā, i rongi i te ahurewa tapu o ono mātua tūpuna, a kei te mei ki ai o ti rā me tōna whare kāwi āriki nui tonu, a rire, rire hau, pai mārire, pai mārire ki a rātau, pai mārire ki a tātau. He mei ki te ki ngā mana whenua, te ateawa ngā te toa rangatira tau, rangatira me ngā te raukaua ki te tonga. Engari, o te reinga hau e whā, a tēnā koutou. I'm privileged to be here, e hoa mā. I've got 15 minutes to tell you about co-governance and research. I have to warn you, I come from a law background, and we charge by the word, and every, and every two and a half minutes. But uh, actually, I lie, I'm a law academic. We're the poor ones. Right? Uh, although I'm still doing a lot of that mahi. Now, um, quickly, I'm going to be talking about not what the uh, facilitator said, with respect. It's a good thing about being Māori is you can diverse, diversify. I always adhere to the uh, whakatauki, ka tūwhera te ari a tātou e haere ana. The path will unfold as we go. <laughs> right. Well, no. Um, so I'm going to talk about te mana o te kupu, hmm. the mana of words and the importance of words. Oh, I forgot to mention to ac acknowledge all my whanaunga out there. Um, and I'm going to talk about ecosystem-based management and a little bit about governance. If you want to get into more detail, Go and read this. It's downstairs. We actually have, uh, this is a summary of the main report we did. The main report is about 650 pages, so just a bit of light reading for you. <laughs> but have a read of those if you want to uh, understand more some of my kōrero. Now, um, te mana te kupu, the mana of words, I think one of the important things we've learnt over the last couple of days is the words we use have a lot of meaning, and often they're taken out of context. It's important we understand and define what we are talking about and what we mean when we use certain kupu. The other thing, too, I've picked up is there is mana in our words. Mm. There is mana in our kupu. And so some words evoke a bit of emotion through a lot of New Zealanders. One such word is perhaps sovereignty. Another is colonialism. Perhaps another is co-governance. It's another one being bandied around right now. It sort of indicates it's an election year. Mm -hmm. But there's some of our Māori words that evoke a bit of emotion too, such as tino ranga tira tanga, perhaps even te tiriti o waitangi, the treaty, tikanga Māori, perhaps vision mā tauranga. What's interesting about the words we use is what do they mean? And it's also very important in a political, legal, uh, policy context. Uh, so one such word is co-governance. Can I just say too, um, the words we use, they shift and change over time. When I was young, with respect, the word gay meant happy. Hmm. Now it has many different connotations. Even our Māori kupu, um, we used to do a lot of, we used to call it Māori club. At that time, or our culture club, now it's kapahaka. Mm. 
And uh, if you're any good, you go to Matatini. Mm-hmm. And so just highlighting words, the words we use are very important. They're abstractive sieve for how we see the world. And co-governance is one such term. And also ecosystem-based management, EBM. And so as so I shift to EBM, I just want to highlight that we need a new shared vocabulary to deal with our current challenges in the marine environment, our seascape, but also in our whenua and the rest of the country too. As uh, many of our scientists have highlighted, we're in a mess. We have to acknowledge it. And then the next question is, how do we deal with it and what's the vocabulary for that? Currently, it's ecosystem-based management. And for those of you, all of you are familiar with this term, it includes the Treaty of Waitangi, Tikanga Māori, Mātauranga Māori, and co-governance with respect, notwithstanding what Winston Peters or others are saying. It is there, and we need to grapple with it. And I actually believe uh, ecosystem-based management is an appropriate term, concept, policy that should be incorporated into law for us to deal with our challenges going ahead. Now, <coughs> um, another word I, guess I just want to highlight is tikanga Māori. Now, we've had a lot, heard a lot about tikanga Māori. From a law perspective, uh, and I teach this, I'm also involved in a lot of litigation in the High Court, litigating over what this term means and all these other terms are, which is a terrible place to be dealing with it. But tikanga Māori, from what I've learned, hmm, tikanga Māori is our, our laws and institutions for doing what's right, appropriate or correct within a different within a respective context. That's what tikanga Māori is, and as some of our previous speakers said, tikanga Māori is about rights, but also responsibilities. And it's actually a legal system based on relationships. It's relational rights, so some entitlements by virtue of birth and so on and so forth, but also associated responsibilities and roles. And if I can just put this out here, I'll be so bold. I had a debate with a judge once, and I said to them, you know, Māori are in a terrible place. A lot of our people in jail and all the negative social statistics, so on and so forth. I said, under tikanga Māori, we had no problem with Māori crime. Even after um, that sort of more came to to a head after urbanisation, post-World War II. But traditionally, historically, and this is what I said to the judge, tikanga Māori is a more effective legal system than British common law. So that's my bold statement I'll put out to you today. I'm welcome to have challenges. I love a challenge and debates. But it really is, and the reason why I say this, oh, we don't have time. I've got seven minutes left. It's... Because no need for a police force to enforce it. It's self enforced, whanau and hapu enforced. And also, what actually monitored it, among other things, is wairua tanga. Okay. And um, with tikanga Māori, I just, I've got a few controversial things to say and I'm running out of time. But tikanga Māori is a relational uh, uh, legal system, was effective has been undermined by this other system, and now today we're getting back to integrating both. I don't know if you're aware, but last year our New Zealand Supreme Court even agreed and said in the Alice and the King decision, since our highest court of the land said that tikanga Māori is part of the law of New Zealand, and said in some respects it is the law. And, interestingly, our Supreme Court justices said, and it can apply to non-Māori too, not just Māori. Hmm. So our effective legal system is being resurrected, and I believe it's what we need as a country going forward, as a, not a plausible, but a viable, a, a, an actually important solution for fixing the mess we're in in an environmental context, social context, all these other contexts. Again, I'll boldly state it, we need tikanga Māori as a country. We need it in our laws and institutions. But it's relational. I'll also say this, 
Hoa Tikanga Māori has been taken out of context too, and we do this in the courts all the time, uh, which is a shame. It shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be defining tikanga in court, but we are, because our people go to court and litigate. Anyway, that's another story. But tikanga Māori taken out of context provides many challenges. Tikanga Māori has been corporatized, it's been intellectualized, been bureaucratized, it's been legalized, and so on and so forth. But tikanga Māori, or tikanga without wairua, is not tikanga. Right? Just put that out there. Now, coming to co governance, um, what does that mean? Again, the words we use co governance is not management, it's not co management. It's not co-sovereignty either. I'll put that there. It's co-governance. I'll just say this again too. Governance or government is not governance. Right? And that's really important in this context because government sometimes assumes they have all the answers with respect to our politicians or policy people here, and also they should be dealing with all those problems. And, and they're not the sole actors in this space. It needs to be a lot more broader, which is what EBM is about. Right. And also co-governance. It's about us coming together and tackling this challenge that we're all facing. As our, as our vision here, Kaupapa is that Aotearoa New Zealand has healthy marine ecosystems that provide value for all New Zealanders. Right? And so we need co-governance. We need mātauranga and tikanga Māori. Oh, I ran out of time, whānau. <laughs> have a read of this. If you want to get actually into governance deeper, have a read of our other report on co-governance. And if you want to get into it even deeper than that, I'm not being self-promotional here, but we uh, published a book with Thompson Reuters last year on Māori governance that gets into all of this in more detail. So I need to get off... As I said, I do this usually in three hours or a whole day. So 15 minutes, I promised Julie I'll stick to 15 minutes, so I will. Te mana o te kupu. I'll just say this too. Sorry, Huama, going all over the place. Um, the strongest relationship under tikanga Māori is via kawinata. We call a covenant or a treaty agreement. That's why te tiriti o waitangi is so important for our people. It was a kawenata between Māori and the British and New Zealand crown. And that, when you have a kawenata, that binds you together in this new relationship going forward. And so we need to remember that going forward. We have lost our way somewhat. And so I'll f let me finish on this this note in terms of conclusion. Um, te au o te moana, under tikanga Māori, under ecosystem-based management, we need to put as the priority te moana, not people. So e hoa, he ate me nui o te au, he tangata, our whakapapa goes back to te moana. Ko te moana, au, ko au te moana. Right? So, the the ocean is a person, mm. right? And so we need to put the ocean as the priority for all of us and her well-being, right? And as we do that, and we come together in a kawanata, in a constitutional, a covenantal relationship which binds us all together going forward, the devil's in the detail, but I think at the start, we reconcile our differences you know, you've got the commercial, industry, recreational, and so on. Yes, we all love the moana. We all use the moana. All of us do. And also acknowledging too, fun in terms of our words, you've got to remember that Aotearoa New Zealand is an island state. We are dependent on the moana for our well-being as a nation. So we need to take care of her first. And that's what EBM's about, in my opinion. It's what co-governance is about. We have a common vision where we're trying to go, and if we do that by kawenata, 
which binds us together, then all the other details about what's the tools. <laughs> Ran out of time. Okay, I could be going all day. I've got 45 seconds. <laughs> so, so in terms of reconciliation, I have a framework to do that. I call it the 10 R's, but we don't have time to get into it. I'll just, I'll just mention them. So going forward in terms of reconciling our relationship between ourselves and the mana, that's uh, revisiting, redesigning, re uh, recognition, responsibility, remorse, restitution, reparations, redesign of our state laws and institutions, refraining from, I say, persecuting the mana, and then reciprocity and a new relationship. Those are the keys in terms of our koenata going forward. Uh, and finally, last five minutes, finally, I've been given um, research money to carry this on and come up with some tools and frameworks for co-governance for industry, government, and Māori. Kia ora tātou. Mm.